Hey guys, welcome to Farm Simulator 19 on Grinch Valley Farm. Deja vu. We're still spraying herbicide. This field, I've got a suspicion that we'll have a lot of weeds popping up. So when I drove into this field, I don't know, it could be the wires, very possibly the shadows of the wires, actually now I'm thinking up about this. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. So, those dark spots. Each one of those dark spots... I have a hunch that that will be weeds cropping up, but it could be shadows from the cables actually looking at it. It's hard to... It's kind of hard to say, actually. Oh, no, it's, def it's definitely shadows. Okay, scrap that, what I was saying. It's just shadows. I thought that's where weed weeds were going to crop up, but you can see the darker soil, it is taking a lot of the herbicide, so... Spot on. We're going to stop the weeds coming through. Okay, if we head over to here, do we have luscious, ready grass? Oh, nope. No, yeah, we do have sunshine, so uh, we should be fairly golden there. Uh, wow, the weather's actually going to be treating us damn good. Rain on Monday, apparently. Huh, okay. Yeah, we should be uh, ready to rock and roll fairly soon here. I wouldn't... I thought I need to ted this again. I've tedded it once and it kind of made it this light color, so I guess it's just drying now. All things being equal, same in here. Uh, although, yeah, this, these are the weeds I just got, but we harvested it, the grass, cut the grass after these popped up, so I don't think they'll affect the yield particularly. Obviously, I do need to come in here and spray. What I'll probably end up doing is just coming in, plowing it under and put a lime down here, but it doesn't say it needs to be ploughed, so I guess I don't need to. I don't know with that. Don't know with that. Uh, check, actually, uh, I should have checked the water. Uh, daily checks on the animals, you know. Yeah, they're golden. Beautiful. Beautiful. Contracts, can we do any contracts? It's probably going to be the same contracts. Fertilize, 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 fertilize. Cultivate. I'm so tempted to try this cultivator out. How big is that field, actually? Uh, let's see if we can get down there. Relatively trouble-free. Uh, we'll go to the spinnery, because that's closest. So it's 109. If it's not bad size, I just want to mess around with the uh, cultivator that's on the back of it, see what that's all about. Oh my. That's actually a really small field. Potatoes in it, but... Uh, actually. Uh, it's not as small as it looked. And the cultivator that it wants... Oh, it's going to give us. It's under discs. Where is it? Subsoilers? Oh, it's a, it's a six meter. Here it is. It was brand new to the game. I've literally never used it. So I'm really intrigued to see what it's all about. It's got a cedar, I think, in it. Or a cedar of fertilizer or whatever it is. I kind of wish it was a separate system so you could take that off. It's kind of cool. It's got the rollers on the back there. You know what? YOLO. We've got nothing else to do right now. Did I accidentally not get it to give us the contract, the equipment? <sighs> really? <laughs> Okay, I'll lease it out of my own pocket, but... Actually, you know what? I've got a tractor capable of doing it. Why don't I just lease... A decent... We'll lease the same setup. But I've got a tractor more than capable enough to pull this thing. It needs 500 horse, and the terror track Is... I don't want to look at it anymore. 
Uh, what is the tarot track? It's up there. Is it only that? 500? Really? 550? Can you not adjust the power of that? Oh, I got the low one. Okay, we'll still use it. It gives me an excuse to break out the tarot track. Can I put in the big engine? For free. And then rock it back after I don't. Oh yeah, I can tap. Yeah, it's gonna make me pay. I can lease the initial cost. Uh, okay. Neglectingly, you guys know what's coming up when I do this. GS. Let's see. I'll put in the money for it, but I'm going to roll it back because I don't need a tractor this large, as far as horsepower wise. And we will lease said subsoiler. Which is four nine nine hold. No. Yep. So it's somewhat similar setup to what we we're gonna be using. So we'll uh, drive down there and we'll come back I guess. Alrighty, out the store. Gotta love the pause function in OBS. That is amazing. Oh, that is a big setup. So it must be able to take fertilizer or grass seed or cr crap like that. I really don't know why you, you would not be able to disconnect that part of it. I'm gonna. Oh, is that gonna affect anything? Hopefully not. Fingers crossed. Didn't affect anything. Beautiful. Uh, we'll go across. So yeah, it can hold fertilizer basically. Okay. That makes sense. So, would that be a deep bander or something like that, I think? I don't know what it would be. Pretty cool setup. It's a shame I have, like, a stay, oh yeah. It's a shame that it is all in one and you can't take that off. So, turning out of here is going to be interesting. I just hope this thing has actually got enough guts to pull it. You'd think it would. Damn terror track, it should have enough damn grip. Now again, this tractor... I know I talk about it every damn time. But just for those wondering, why have I... Did I go the right way? No, I did not. wondering why I have a tractor this big on here, it's purely because this wouldn't fit on Shamrock, well it would fit on Shamrock but it's just a bit a bit ridiculous for Shamrock. Here's a bit more believable with some of the bigger fields and to be quite honest with you, it's one of these tractors where I'll say I openly do not give a crap if it's too big, because I want to use it. Right now I don't have any of the maps that I can use it on I'm playing on two, in the grand scheme of things relatively small maps So here we are. Basically. Basically, it's where we're at. And as I'm recording this, I am freaking hungry. What was it? 12, 12 18. Haven't had anything to eat yet. Getting hungry. Getting hungry. Mm. Well, two videos in the bag today. Well, technically three because I recorded last night, so it's not bad. That's not bad at all, and 
well, stream and then record later after the stream. I'll probably end up streaming this map. I... It's not often that, other than Oxygen David, that I come across a map for which just grabs me. Like uh, Green Bale did with this map. How Oakfield was with 17, where I got to very close to 100 episodes, I, c I think this is the map. Back in the day, I was known for doing Thornton. Then Oakfield. Thornton is what really took off the channel, but right now... That's this map. Gotta wonder what these type of tractors like. I like to drive. Are they rough riding or how are they? Is that the field? Yeah, it is. I'll loop around. I don't think I would have made that turn. Glad to see the Giants updated this thing so it actually works. <laughs> what with the lights? I don't know if they did anything else. Probably not. I don't think I had any other issues, honestly. Alright, so how is this going to unfold? Okay, everything's just going to unfold at once. Figured as much. Now, the rollers on the back, I don't think they actually do anything in-game. I think it's just... There. It's coping okay, actually. Six mile an hour. It's going to chew through diesel, though. I can tell you that much, and I know I'll end up putting this on course play. No, for a fact. That's the thing with the contracts. I love the fact there is no, you have to get it done by X Y Z. Time frame sort of thing. Now, Corseplay may not like this because it has a fertilizer tank. It may throw a fit saying it has to have fertilizer in it. So, if that is the case, I will be completely transparent with you guys. I will just cheat that fertilizer in. I'm gaining nothing by that. I'd be losing money. I've already lost money because I hit the wrong frickin' button, but at least we get to use the class. Yeah, subsoil, plowing deep. Yeah, I'd say... Especially on a potato bed like this, although Farmsome doesn't see it like that. Six, seven mile an hour is probably very accurate. Honestly, it probably goes slower than that. Eight mile an hour, now we're on the flat. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Get the picture for the thumbnail, which may be one of the only reasons I'm doing this. <laughs> and hide the herd. screen with golden I'll do at least one loop and then I'll throw a course play on it I'm very much where possible not one of these people that like to just stick to one task and one task only I like to move around do other stuff well actually as I said I was going to blip time to go through hopefully we can get to haymaking 
That would be kind of cool if we can do that at least today. Which, if that's the case, then I'll probably need to get another tractor down to the sheep. So, that one of them can, well, row and then bail. Could do it individually, but I think I'll uh, get one field being rowed up by course play, the other I'll be bailing sort of thing. Following her around as soon as it dries. And we can drive down. Oh, actually, we could take the fence down there. Take the fence down now. Throw on the usual proper wheels. Beforehand, and then we can spray the herbicide down on those fields. But then I said I was going to plow that. Hmm. <laughs> if that's the case, then I can just use... The uh, crawler. So many decisions I could be doing. Yeah, this thing's a beast. Cool unit, actually. I kind of like that. Especially with the fertilizer. I have to remember that. It's just very, very big. Long unit. Long unit, indeed. Okay, so... It's not this. So it's, It is. It, it's technically this. Why won't you let me click that? Because I've got the fertilizer tank. That is why... So do three headlands after the fact. I'm just going to screw that up. Didn't it say it's six meters? Ah, uh, wrong one. It's actually saving a lot quicker than it used to. Uh, probably SSD. Uh, da -da -da -da, subsoilers. Six meters. Okay. There's sometimes where I trust course play, there's sometimes where I just don't. This is going to be the one of the times where I don't. Six meters, three headlands, up down rows, generate course. It's going to be a weird ass course. Yeah, I figured as much. Now we'll drive it around. I'm straight up going to say it's probably going to throw a fit about it not having fertilizer in there. I think there's a way of switching it off so it wouldn't do that, but I'm not too sure how. I've used Cosplay a lot of, over these years. One of my favorite mods, but I don't know how you'd do that. Uh, convoy refill, turn and circle. Turn and circle, we could probably bump that down to seven. All right, we'll try it, see what it's going to... Yeah, I think it's much. So we'll stop that so it doesn't cause a conflict. Hit F11. Told you I was going to do that just in case. Hold 3,000 liters. Can we bump that way down? Yeah, we can. 100 liters a hectare, so it shouldn't even run out. In theory. Hide that. Drive course. Have at her. 35 minutes, so basically a whole entire video it will take to do this. So basically, I'll have to save this course. 105 con. And then just delete it after. What a unit, though. What a unit. I really like that thing. Great amount of the spinnering. Ooh. Uh, we probably don't have a great load of wool, though. Alright, this thing. We are done here. We're done this field. We've done that field. The other two fields, I think they're okay. Double check quick. No weeds cropping up there, so they're good. Fertilization state is good on the two wheat fields, but these fields with the oats in 
once they've got the first growth stage, they'll need doing. So that'll be a minute there. Need to put that away in the shed as well. Customize. Oh yeah, Trollbergs. White tires. Just make sure everything is good to go. Yep. Someone was asking the other day if you can put a uh, front loader on. Yeah, you can. And yeah, it's done it again with the damn front attacher. Always, always that. I don't, I don't know if it's a bug with mods or whether it's a bugging the actual base game. Kind of got a hunch it's probably base game, but I don't know. No reason I can put the wides back on it. Actually, I was just going to plow. I'll take it down anyway. I'll ask in the live stream later. If plowing, actually, plowing under a grass field actually makes a difference where to that, I'm going to say it was probably going to be a resounding no. Alrighty, we will see you guys when we get down there. Alrighty, we're here. Quite the convoy. It would appear. Although it's not actually a convoy at all. I'm really starting to wonder if I need to tear it again. Uh, the crop moisture is 18, I believe that's the crop moisture, the soil moisture is 9. So it's not bad at all. I'm here, so I'll do that. Sheep cleanliness is okay, double check, but that looks fine to me. Yep, they're golden. Uh, how's the world pilots doing? Beautiful. We could, we could try heading to see if it's going to make a blind bit of difference right off the hop, but I doubt it. Actually, what I should have pulled down was the freaking mower. <laughs> Not the mower, geez, the uh, baler. There's an idea. I just saw the yellows. Did that just go? Oh, we did do three fields. I didn't think we... Oh, uh, we must have, yeah. I didn't think we did. I honestly don't think it's going to make a difference because I've already done it once. Yeah, it's not appearing to by any means. Just moving it around. Like, there's a spot there that's dark. Once I go over that, it makes it green. Makes it green. It was green. Makes it lighter green. And that's not going to change, yeah. 16. There's a difference, guys. If you're ever wondering, you can quite clearly see the difference. And because where I just looped around, it's not dry. But that is the difference right there. Dry hay? Wet hay. Now, because I've just moved it, it's going to take a lot longer to update. So if I do this, will it move? Or will it update it? Even quicker. You can actually see exactly where I went. So if I go into this, will it? Well, it stays light. Hmm. 
That's interesting. All right, so we'll obviously take this back, put that back in the shed, and get this going on course play with the rake. I am kind of irritated I didn't think about bringing the baler down instead of the sprayer. But that's me, so go figure. Uh, so I'll quickly run down, grab the baler. By quickly run down, I'll be completely honest. Tardis teleport straight down and pick the damn thing out. And we'll get this rowing that field. Because we're going to have a row that's not going to be good to go, but hey, what can you do? Headlands, we'll do two pass up down rows first. That one, generate. It's not often I let course play winner. I prefer doing it myself. But just because we are kind of goofed, I'll let it do its thing. Won't take long at all to do it anyway. Uh, we'll check out how the class is doing on the contract. It's doing great. Uh, so we'll actually where's our fent here pull this forward we'll pause we'll come right back okay so we have a baler if you are wondering wow that baler looks brand new you would be correct how did I not buy a baler yet for the map because we had one before <laughs> uh, really <laughs> Fun times, fun times. So that is raking stuff up very nice, very nice indeed. I've actually put quite a lot of owls on this damn thing already. The uh, fun. So I'll put this here. We'll wait until. Should have probably waited until it's on the headland to do anything, but we'll fix this because evidently this can't comprehend life right now. I don't even know what course it's supposed to be on and where it's supposed to be. Like, it, it hasn't even made another pass. It did its first pass and. It's you comprehending life now? Or are you hella broken? No, you're still broken. Not really. How did it... Where did it get that messed up on life? Where it got that bent out of shape? It was stuck up a tree there. First waypoint. Drive course. Or does it just turn too tight? So, well, I bumped down that... So it should have made a simple turn there. Oh, I can't back it up. Because there's multiple joints, it can't back it up. Okay, yeah, I, I gotta give cosplay that it is, yeah. I'm not even getting get mad at that. What's it doing? Oh, I had a hard worker. Son of a gun. Can't even get mad at cosplay on that one. I don't blame it whatsoever. Okay, we'll return that. Uh, what else can we use for this? Cultivators. Subsoilers. We could go to our old favourite and just get it done. It does say cultivate, so I could just... 
grab a huge cultivator and be done with it. And that is four, five, three, nine. Enter, yes. Okay. How long have we been? 30 minutes. That is long enough because I am starting to feel the side effects of being stupidly hungry. Time to teleport over here. Won't even be discreet about it. <laughs> no need. I've goofed. Although any excuse to use some of the horse stuff is pretty damn cool. As this stuff is relatively beastly. Uh, TARDIS teleport. At least we've got a huge landing pad over here. Bam! Unfold this to see how it works and see if it is okay, and then that's where we will end up today. I'm hungry. <laughs> Very hungry. Oh wow, I love the way that rotates around. That's neat. It should have zero issues pulling it. Yeah, it's going to be fine. Alright, I'm not even going to get this on the course yet. I would bid you guys farewell, though. With this calamity. <laughs> Got to understand when cosplay can't reverse, what, three? Two, is it three? Three joints, technically. Maybe two. Uh, you got to understand that. So until next time, hopefully you guys have enjoyed, and I'm going to make myself some lunch. See ya.